Hi everyone, Cindy Squirrel here. Well, it's been a while, but I'm out in my greenhouse and I've been watching my Morden yellow pear tomatoes. And I showed you that some were fruiting. Where are they? There they are. And we have some with just flowers. But I have a problem. And the problem is, in the greenhouse, I had nowhere else to put my Dr. Waichi tomatoes. And they're starting to flower. Now, cross-pollination is not a big deal, but it could happen. And I want these seeds I want to save my seeds and I want to develop my own seeds for my climate. I know we're in the greenhouse but I'm gonna do what I have to do. So what I did was any that have already have the fruit on I put a string on those and I will not pick those I think I have a string over here too. Yes, I do. I have a string over there. I won't pick them. I'll let them get ripe. Really ripe. And I will seed save just those ones. I won't seed save from this fruit just in case. You never know. And... A Dr. Whitey tomato and a Morden yellow pear. I don't know if people would really like a one and a half pound cherry tomato. <laughs> if they did cross pollinate, but they probably won't, but I'm not taking a chance. So, anywho, that's what I'm doing. Marking the ones that have already fruited before those ones started to flower. So there's absolutely no way that those ones could be cross-pollinated with a Dr. Waichi tomato because the Dr. Waichi has just started today putting on flowers. So there we go. Hope everyone has been really well.